Hi guys, welcome back. Let's talk about AWS Lake Formation Service. We will discuss why this service exists and what problem it solves. AWS Lake Formation was created as a service that helps users to build, secure, and manage their data lakes in a very short period of time. And when we are talking about time, we meaning days, not months, as for traditional building process of the data lake. So let's quickly check what is the data lake. Uh, it is a store wrapper where you store a huge amount of structure and structured data, some raw and transformed data. Data lake includes a lot of components like data ingestion, data government, data store, data discovery, data outing, etc. The typical process of building data lake from scratch can take months since it requires a lot of collaboration with other teams. So let's see how AWS Lake Formation is helping us to simplify the building of data lake. Here is the AWS website and here is a schema of AWS Lake Formation. You can ingest data to Lake Formation using different sources like S3, relational database, NoSQL database. And of course, when we are talking about ingestion from S3, we can think about a variety of data types like CSV, TSV files, log files from application, streaming data, etc. Once data is ingested, AWS Lake Formation can use crawlers to crawl the data. Crawlers can inform the schema, identify file format, and populate metadata into data catalog. ETL and data preparation can be done using Python Shell or PySpark or Scala. Under the hood, your ETL job is running using DPU, which is data processing unit. DPU is a worker. Each DPU has four CPUs and 16 GB of memory. Depends on your tasks. You can choose three worker types of DPU. It is standard, J1X and J2X. And we will go deeper in more details and use cases about worker type later. Data catalog based on popular Hive Metastore, and it is completely serverless. If you manage, if you migrate from your on-prem environment, you can import your existing Hive Metastore into the data catalog and vice versa. Secure settings allow you to provide uh, access to AWS Lake Formation using permission model. This permission model is augmented to IAM service and enables fine granted access to the data store in data lakes through simple grant revoke mechanism. Access control is divided into two parts, metadata access control and data access control. Metadata access control allows you to create, read, update, and delete metadata for databases and tables. And data access control allows you to provide read and write permission to underlying AWS S3 locations. So once you prepare your data, you can take advantages of deep integration with other AWS services. AWS Lake Formation is integrated with AWS Glue, Amazon Athena, Redshift Spectrum, QuickSight Enterprise Solution, and Amazon EMR. Using all these techniques, allow you to build your data lake in secure, robust, and resilient manner. We will go deeper into each component of AWS Lake Formation and build our own data lake from scratch. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned.